Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to our everyday living. It looks good what we've got in the background there in a full IVC pod, doesn't it? That's what we have now. Now the whole back out, she won't lift it at all. I'll give it a go. We know we've got about 1700 or more-ish kgs in those from yesterday's video. Uh, I thought I'd just stack them up on top of that. The old back I don't lift it, so especially with the new fork that I've made on the front and that sort of thing. I'll give you a gander on that. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know whether anyone's seen it or not, but this is what I made for the backhoe. It's got no brakes, and uh, yeah, that's what I made. I oh, just might have seen it yesterday in the video where I was lifting it up and that sort of thing. But anyway, anyone that's new to the channel and that sort of thing, I made that up, that was a pallet jack. I thought, well, I've got no forklift here. The old backhoe here, that's here. I might as well use it, put my own fuel in it, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, that's what I used for loading the actual weight ute. So for today's little venture, what we're doing, I received a parcel in the mail. I'm hoping it's the right one. We've got a few things here on the trailer already listed for sale uh, the little black fridge there the husky fridge they're 900 goddamn dollars only need a new cord so i'll put a new cord on and we're keeping that um our agenda for today it's a bit cloudy and breezy so i can't do nothing around here i could do it chuck chuck myself in the mower though but um i'll put a day in the shed but anyway what we're doing we're hoping we can we've got the belt for the kogan washing machine that I forgot to get or I think I might have misplaced not sure so I've got a parcel there we'll put that in and get it running because this is the one that I put the new bearings in new seal whacked it together so this is part of part three and we'll be doing something else as well today so come along for the ride and uh, yeah see what we can get up to Let's get stuck into it, eh? Hope we got the right part. It's definitely a belt. Should be a 1270 something in length. There's no number. Oh, there it is. 12, 1270. Yep, there we go. 5V, meaning five, five pieces across there. That's what I got the information from. So let's undo the back here. Put our belt on, get it working. Let this do a cycle, hopefully it'll work. Fit that up there. Oh, that made it easy, didn't it? Now, the motor's down there. I didn't clean none of this, this here or anything, but I have put new bearings in. Mightn't look like it, but yeah. That down on the motor. It's a bit dark down in there, so I can't see, so I'm doing it all by a field. June's down here in the shed too. She's pulling some brass caps apart. Quite simple to put on these are. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Not all the time. Where are we up to? Down the bottom down here. Put some tension against it. Take some of it off. Come on. Come on. Come down. Come down. I've got to get to about there. That's it. Hold it there. Slip it over the motor. Itself. Give it a turn. Are we slipping off over there? We are. Of course, we're not on the pulley down the bottom. Come off. And because I can't see with my fingers in the road, where's my, that pulley down there? I was in the wrong spot. I was going around a bolt. 
go back the other way a bit. Oh, it fell off. It's not working for me. We'll get it on that way. It's on there. I'm not experienced at doing this, so just bear with me. Not like this. I, I usually put them together. Put them out. That looks to be on the right one down there. That feels pretty tight. It feels very tight. Oh, she's not going to slip anyway. You don't want them slipping. You don't want to cut your belt either. on right feel down in there I'll grab the whole foam with a torch all right where the hell are we oh yeah that's not too bad not too bad we'll give it a couple of turns find out where it's going to sit that thinks I think I need to come over a bit another hole yeah, that's got to come this way. Do one. Do one at a time. Yeah, got to go another one. That's more like it. That's more like it. Feels central. Feels about the same each way. And it gets it more central of the bearing, like the actual pulley itself, all the way through. So we'll put the back back on, that feels good to me. Right. Now the belt only cost $39.90. Besides all the bearings, I'll have to go through and... Well, I think, I, think I, I had the bearings. Can't remember. But anyway, the seal was about 40 bucks, so I should be able to... Mind June in the background over here on the grinder. Um, get roughly around probably $270 mark or something like that. But anyway, we're going to turn this on. Um, should power up, hopefully, if I've connected everything up right. There we go, powered up. Uh, we'll do a standard. We're not putting no clothes in here. Um, I don't think it's worthy of doing anything like that because we know all clean in there and that sort of thing so we want to put just ordinary clean water in here i'll get to once i've done all the cycle right around the outside here um to put uh, uh, to actually clean the outside as you can notice there's a lot of dirty scuff marks i've got some solution up here it's mixed with hand sanitizer cleaner and stuff like that because hand sanitizer's got alcohol in it so it gets rid of all the scuffing marks and stuff like that so let's just start on that and we'll see what happens that's going to go for an hour and 20 minutes start on that son pumps kicked in so I've connected that right. While that's doing that, we'll get over and do something else. Turn the old phone off. Get the torch, torch off. How you going over here, sweet? Can't that you one do there, that? I can't get out. Oh, you really mangulated that, didn't no, you? No, I didn't. It was, it was like that. Was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I see. Because you've got to... Punch, I check, right. You've got to... Turn with that. Yeah, I'll show you what you've got to do. All around this edge, you've got to cut it because that goes right around inside there. Oh. <laughs> it's a pain, that one. Um, that one there, you need a different socket for that, different size. All right, so I'm going to go over here. And this one here. Oh, we got water going everywhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got water going everywhere. Pause. No, I forgot to connect something up. Ooh. Bugger. <laughs> so we're back to the drawing board. What's you got there? What's that? That's a 
Oh, that, yeah, well, you will get some aluminium ones. So better give me that. Right. Try to find out what's going on over here. We got water going everywhere. This one needs a new door seal. What didn't I connect up? Got to be at the top. Got to be at the top. I've missed something, surely. One in the middle? No. Ah, we'll disconnect the power for now. Move that power forward out of the road. We don't want to get electrocuted. Stand in water. What haven't I connected up? Might be the bottom. Might be underneath it. Seems to be coming from the bottom. No, it's right there. <laughs> Damn, I didn't connect the bloody soap dispenser. Well, that's an easy fix. Very easy fix. Just a quick one. You always forget something. This one in here. Yeah, so the dispenser's sagging, so I don't think I did connect it up. Oh, I certainly did not connect it up. Definitely hanging. Hmm. Yes. It's putting water th right through, not into the drum. Right, we'll have to uh, get a pair of pliers. Uh, this there. I might not get that with those. Glad I brought these. I like these. Click, 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 and they're done. Not too big. Too much. Down in the hole. Get in the hole, son. Get out of the road. Glad we got no power in it. I'll take that out of my road. It's right in the road. That'll be better. That'll be a lot better. Yes. I'll get that clamp further down. Third end. Third ends are hard these days. Hard to come by. What's going on? Right. I think we'd be good that. Nope, a little bit more. Just a smidget more. I wish it'd stay up there. We got it. We got it. We can put it back together now. Slop that into that. Get my dirty gr grotty mitts off there. That into there. Grab the bar. We'll slap it back together. Do a slip slop slap. The right way round. I reckon it would be. That's there. That's there. Those two. They go in the back one. That's so when the top goes in, it's got something to hold on to. Not just the PCB wall, mainframe, front piece. Mm. 
that into there, that down like so. Hold that up. That there, that there. Right, that one and that one go in the front. over tighten them four across the front here I'm gonna put the power back in and see if I've fixed it get it working again but I think that was definitely the problem that's a lot of water lucky the motors over that side all the PCB board, the computer and evidence on this side, so water over that side, it's fine. Slap that into that. Slap the cord back in, we'll put the screws in while it's trying, trying to boot up. Beep. Grab the screws. Yeah, we'll leave it at that and we'll go start. Let's see if I've done the right thing. Put the screws back in the back. Not flooding me out yet. Don't sound like it. Right, well that's just a minor little mistake. Oh, we better put the soap dispenser in. No water on the ground. Looks to be good now. Mm -hmm. Any water going in there? Yes, I can see it. Right, we'll get back to doing what I was going to do. I've done some modifications to our log splitter, what we use for extracting the copper out of the outer casings of the motors, like out of these. As you can see, it's partly split. Um, i done a modification where... I had too short of an axe head. I chopped it off because I didn't want... It was actually welded to here. It's not because I didn't want to take it off or anything. Um, it all comes back to... I had more travel back here. Like, I'll give you an example. At the moment, I can only go... ...to there... And when I've got these in play, um, yeah, it, I could shorten the chain up, but when I've got a half a half a outer casing of the motor in here, um, I wasn't getting it, been able to pull it all out. So now I did do another upgrade on this part as well. I've put a slot in here because I was having this pulling over and that that sort of thing. This is only an ordinary scissor car jack. I use the uh, drill up here, put a socket on, oh, that's why this socket's there, it's the right size socket. Uh, put a half inch drive bit that goes into the, one of the tech bit ones, and I can scissor it up and down. But what I've done is I actually put a bolt in there, welded the nut so it doesn't come undone, so it can slide it up and down. Um, I'll show you all of that when we're operating this. But the thing is, I could not take the uh, axe head off because I like I explained it was all welded to that plate there so what I've done so I went and got another plate got four bolts um, drilled the holes put the put another axe head on I ha actually had a whole crappy axe head myself um, the handle was totally there no good uh, and I thought well I'll just weld it straight on to try and square it up as much as I possibly can but I have noticed just today this has a lot of play now I'm not going to take that play out because it's right through the ram there's no way you can take it out it is only a log split it's to be expected uh, but I did get my foot pedal down here working properly so we'll be using that 
and uh, yeah we, let's get to and start pulling some of the pulling this copper apart we'll splitting them up first and then we'll pull them apart back here right let's see if we're going to be able to go through that one did start that one we'll finish it off She's through, I don't need to go no further, get my foot off the pedal, I'll be right. Put them down there. Well actually, no, I won't put them down there, I'll put them in a bin over here. Get that close. Over there. No, go straight in there. Like this makes life easy. I'm talking so easy. No, we're a bit crooked there. I'm on my arm. There we go. Get my foot off it. Chuck that over there. And I don't have to worry about going to and making a score mark. Some of them I have to because um, I think some of them have already got it, like this one here. It's already got a score mark in it, so it's it's to say, well, I've cut it and that sort of thing to give it a starter. Sweet as that. Grab that one over there in the drum. I put an extra skirt on the front here for when I'm extracting the copper out too. Take that off there just in case it decides to fall. Get this big boy. Oh, this is a heavy one. Get that into there. Go to there. See, this one's got the welds on it, so I'm hoping it does go through that. Look at that. Not a problem. Doesn't struggle. It is a nine ton log splitter let's hope we can get down to the small ones and they'll do the job I did try here you go I did try doing it this way with a piece of flat steel ordinary mild steel and the edge didn't stay there I tried to temper it and all that sort of thing nah I couldn't get it hot enough couldn't get it glowing red Unfortunately, my foot pedal's not in the right spot. Well, we might have to use the grinder on this one. I reckon so. I need a hammer. Get the old claw hammer. It'll do the job. Yeah, we'll have to use the grinder on that one. We've already got a few here. I need a bigger bucket for those. It's truth. All right, go this one. This one should be good. Been out of a fish compressor. It's all action. Hopefully that'll go through. Oop, it's stalled out. Oop. We may still get it. I shouldn't have stopped, that's what it was. Go there. Give it a squash another way. Nope, definitely not. So. Use the grinder on that one. Definitely need a bigger bucket. Right, remove these. What are these? These are copper ones, are they? Yeah, that's got to be pulled out. So how about we put that over there. Oh, that one there, he needs to be pulled out. So he's got to go that way. I think these are all the copper ones. And that's a copper aluminium one, that one. So he's got to be separate from the rest. I'll put him in it over there with the aluminium. Oh, he's got to be pulled out. Another two there. Use that bucket.
it down in there, son. Right, hopefully we can get through these. Still got the button down here, so I can still use that button. Oh, this one might squash. Feels very light. We'll give it a go. Don't stop, don't stop. There we go. So if it stalls out, I know it does tend to squash them. It's quick for me, that's what I like. Speed, time saving. Get that out of there. Put that inside. It's not interfering then. Don't stop. Here we go. Hold on. like it when a plan comes together clean our mess up as we go we just put this down the bottom because we can do a sweep up in here the dustpan that's another reason why I made all this part of it doesn't go on the dirt used to get June sitting up here and pulling the lever when I was up here so I put a rope up here so it makes it into a one-man band. Whoop, definitely no with that one. That's a grinder job. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Go around it. We might be able to do that with the grind, just chop some of these or even the cutters and just pull it out that end. Oh, we've already cut through there. Just chuck it down there. This one shouldn't be too bad, but not sure because it's got the pins in that. Oh, going through it. Definitely going through it. Come on. Out you come, out you come, out you come. Let's cut all the copper, just not the steel. This one might be a squash job. Fingers out of the road. Ooh, that was successful. That there, it's got a strap on this one. Cut the strap. 
go. Been an advantage having that longer one. This one may squash. May. I'm not saying it will. Oh, success. I did put a piece of Teflon there too, so if it does decide to go any further, it's not going to hurt the end of it because that's only mild steel in the end anyway. So she's going all right. Still pretty good. Still got a nice edge on it. Pretty good edge. That like so. Ooh, getting anxious here. Wacko daco. Oh, that was an aluminium one. Who classed that one? Probably me. Well, that can go over there. Right, well, you just get the basically gist of this idea. So we'll just put you in a time lapse and get us going. I don't think I'll be able to do that size. No, I don't think so. <laughs> that size is even getting a bit questionable. Unless I... No. Oh, I might, might be able to do. Hang on, I'm doing these ones. thinking about doing a couple of these and I thought well I'll put them up here hopefully that'll go through um there should be mm, no there's not uh, there actually is there's a piece of flat steel down the bottom down there and we'll have a look see if we can do those got a few of these little ones and that sort of thing so we still may be able to like I'm talking tiny baby ones that sort of thing before I do uh, I'll get to and sweep all of this stuff up. Dustpan brush. We've got a bit of copper down here. It can go into there. Couple there. 
It's only a th no thinner. There's a thinner piece there, long piece. Put that all the way down there. Could use the air, but I'm not going to today. That's the one, I think that's the one. Yep, that's the one. Ah, uh, we'll just sit that in there. Down over here. Yeah, that's the one, the thinner piece. That way we can rest it across here, rest ashore. We'll get all this stuff out of the road. Put them down there. We can only go to there. Uh, might need to, I don't know, get a pair of pliers. <laughs> uh, this is why I've created the foot pedal. Bit of steel there. My foot gets a bit antsy at some time, so this is going to be sketchy as. So we'll see if we can do it like that. Oh, that worked. That worked. That's going to save the grinder, won't it? Um, got a tub for these little ones, please. A tub. And we'll just put them straight in there. Jim's getting a tub. All right. Set that here. This one here. Yeah, see, it goes inside, so we've got to do it this way. Once they get any wider than that, it mightn't be too bad. That's split in half, no problems. Where'd the other one go? Went flying down there somewhere. All oh, right, yep. This one on here. I'll go up and get lunch started. Yeah, all right. Sweet. No worries, we'll get this all finished here, cutting, and um, yeah, we'll have a short break and then we'll come back and do the rest. We've got a big one down here, that should be able to go without that piece of steel, we've got another big one there. Just got to hold it up, hold it about there, keep my fingers out of the road. Straight through. See these ones here, we just put it over a container with a couple of bars across and uh, well actually we can use the railway iron down here with this tub um, so far apart or a small tub, like a little can ice cream container and we can whack that in and they'll, we don't lose none that way. Do this big one, get that out of there. Go that way with that, seems to work the best. That's an aluminium one. We won't be putting that in there. We will be putting that down in there. This one here should be fine because it's wider than that. Use the button here. Feel more confident. Ooh, no, we've got to use the flat steel for that. Started going cockeyed. Stalled out. That one in there. Two to go. You gotta know when to stop when it's coming close to that piece of steel. Like you allow, I think it's a, oh, about half a millisecond or something because it's still gotta travel. So uh, I've learnt to do that. Like it hasn't marked the um, steel yet. So that's pretty good. We haven't marked the ax head. It's 
got a fair bit of force against it. Grab these from over here. Bring them over here. Oh, go away, phone. I better answer this, everyone. Oh, dear. Things are happening all over the place. I tell you what. Phone calls here. Phone calls there. People wanting this, people wanting that. What have we done here? That's completely apart. Look how that fell apart. That was in half. Damn. That's a good one, that one. Split right in half. Right, well, not going to worry too much about the copper down inside because we'll be sweeping that out soon anyway. Just before we come back from lunch. Get some grubs in the guts. Not a bad little parcel there. Pick up all of our little parcels around here and we'll go and have something to eat. Bugs are biting. Not bad, not bad at all. Put this one on another cycle. June's back over here doing brass taps and that sort of thing. We're gonna get in and extract all this stuff. So what we have to do first is we've got to take this head off here because otherwise we're not going to have the travel. So we're going to put this in reverse. Undo that. All right, that's that off. Take that socket off, leave it there, put this other one on for our up and down on here. And that is off. So bloody simple. That was the problem I had with the with it being so long. Um, it was always, even with the short one that I had, it was welded onto there and I only had a short amount of distance. This block actually stops about here now, so I've got plenty of room to go all the way out. And yeah, so let's get to and do this. Get it done. So simple, so easy this. Crank this down on this. Doesn't need to be real tight, it's only gotta be sitting there. Foot pedal's ready to rock and roll. I got to and clean it all out as well. Handle up above me. Me tow chain. Tow rope, what do you like to call it? Pull cord. All the copper will go into the tub now. I wonder if I can pull that one straight out. Again. That one's done. Piece of cake. Throw that in there. We've got a fair bit to hit you to do, so we'll get to. I'm going to have to see a cutters. Cut that. Uh, we'll go, go that way. It's a bit wonky on this one. I might go that way. Looks more plausible. It's only got to hold it. I reckon this may be maybe the quickest on YouTube on how to split them and pull them apart. I don't know. Except for the manufacturing machines and that sort of thing. That's the only ones that I've seen that are actually quick enough.
nothing that's been man-made like this that's adapted to any object of any stage so yeah they always say um you gotta work quick to make money i reckon this is the best way see that's its full extent i could actually shorten this chain up probably one link wouldn't hurt because it's not like if i'm grabbing big stuff yeah probably one link would probably shorten it up a bit i'll see you in the next time next time when i go around to doing a, one of these that's out of there we'll leave that as it is we'll do a clean up on the plastic and that sort of thing after when i'm finished Pair of side cutters. Oh, that's that one there, is it? Sounds like it's got a bit of a rattle in it, that machine. button too many controls here oh too many controls get the foot off it should be able to pull that out of there there we go halfway there already this is the main reason why I made the tub underneath all the wire dropping down inside it. Ooh, that went a bit crooked. Still come out though. We'll fix that up. Should have a screwdriver handy i have that's that i've been thinking about putting a, a retractable sock sort of thing on the shaft there probably wouldn't hurt just let me know in the comments if you think that might be a good idea getting a retractable sock to put onto there because it don't want the shaft getting marked i reckon it'd be a great idea Set this one aside, once I've got it out, I'll get rid of that PCB board off there. Oh, we might be able to do it straight away. Look at that. I'll grab that. Just the board. There we go. Put the board out of the road. That can go down there. Yes, it, no, it had a bit of copper on it.
right, let's get into these last couple here, and then we'll go and check this washer. Got a few special big ones here, so I thought I'd bring this back for these. We just about filled our tub up. Makes it easy, it looks like a rack of lamb, just about special separate for plastic in it. It's a rack of copper. Alright, what have we got now? We've got some big ones here. This big thing here. That's our maximum size because of how much I can actually sit in there. Ooh. Gotta get that top one. Right there, shorten me rope up too. It's getting in my face. New guy's vision. Oh, they are. That's testing the limit. Definitely testing the limit there. Might have to grab that from the bottom. Way down here. Not from the side. I've got a habit of grabbing it from the side. Squeeze it down tight. Go from the bottom. Oh, there we go. That's gonna work. Go from the bottom. Go again. This one's got a lot of lacquer on it. Lacquer shellacca. Oh, get the foot off it. Oh dear. Coming adrift. Give it a rope coat. He's a big boy, this one. Here we go. I'm getting somewhere now. Got a hold of it. Go to the top. Ooh, my pliers aren't. Grabbing real well. Got bits and pieces out of it. I'll go through and pluck all the plastic out later. Better get that out of there though. Bit of insulated wire. That over there. Another bit there and there. They can go over there. Another two bits. Um, I go up here. Squeeze tight, son. No, didn't get a grip on that one. Go into that centerpiece there. We'll eventually pluck it apart. Got another one the same. He's mate. His other half. Get that into there. Bite down, boy. Just a little bit. Go a little bit. Might best to feed a chain or something there. Hang on, I've got an idea. Got an idea. We'll put a screwdriver through there. Only just thought of this. And we'll go like... Yeah, we'll go in there. And we'll grab that screwdriver again. See how we go with that. Hey, broke me screwdriver. Hey! Oh, <laughs> dear. Honey? Are you broke me screwdriver? <laughs> That's the straight one, too. Hey, that just popped out of the plastic. Hey, we'll be able to press that back in. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah, give it a good grab. 
Oh, you're gonna watch that in drill. Not. Let down there. Get a corner started here and we'll be right. Well, technically there's no corners, is there? We'll get a side started. There we go. This is only paper, this one, so what? Got so much lacquer on them. It's like a varnish. Slipped. Go up top again. A bit more insulator there. I don't think it matters too much, but it's got a bit of solder on it. I like to put the good stuff through the no, it's not going to get any better than price, just even with the plastic, but I'm just looking at the value. Try and get that one there. Oh yeah, it's a go. But yeah, I thought I'd um, get this one done. Get this done and dusted, get it out of the road. That washing machine looks like he's still going, is he? Yes, he's still going. He's got another hour and ten minutes to go, that thing. Very prickly. Oh, we've got some action happening now. It's all starting to come out. I'm coming out. Go for a big bite. Where's my foot pedal going? <laughs> Ouch. Geez, that's still stuck in there, those couple of strands. How am I going to get them out of there? See if I can just brief them out this way. There we go. A little bit quicker. Open my jaw up a bit. Give me some space. Ah. 
as getting them. It's so tough, this one. Almost got me beat down to this bottom section. off I'll have to get back to this one ah, come on get it up to there that's that it's, it's an advantage having this tub that I've got the log splitter in. Because having this flare, you know, I wouldn't be able to fit all this. I'd be emptying it out halfway through. Come on. Get one going. Never had to do it like this before. See how we go now. Oh, I think we're going to be a winner. Gritting me teeth here, got that part out. Bugger me dead. Tell you what. Better be worth it. Oh, we've got one little strand left. Where'd he go? He's up there. Go down. Better still, we'll go sideways. Come on, it started and then stopped. Come on, out you come, out you come, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Oh, I got it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, I win. <laughs> that other one's going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, I think we need to start another one. I'll leave that one to last, I reckon. That's going to be hard, that one. Righto, getting down to these. These ones are a little bit different. I could have probably tried putting them through up, through further, and then just slicing them in half. But these were already done. So I thought, well, I'd bring you along on this one and uh, with these, and I'll show you how we actually do these. Where's that hammer that we've got? This little hammer here, we turn it over on the side where it's still got the copper do away with the plastic it gives us something to grab do the others i'll do that one last like i was explaining bash that in these should come out pretty easy these the cable ties got to be cut plastic tie You got a problem, have you? Yeah. What's your problem? Uh, well, you'll have to dig it out. Oh, you have to dig it all out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, if it went in the wire, if it went in there, you got to dig all of that out. That <laughs> you'll have to dig it all oh, out. I don't want to. Get another bin and put it in. I think that blue one's empty. Because that way we can just pour it straight back in. I don't want to do weird stuff either, but sometimes you've got no choice. But anyway, we'll get to doing this. Right. I reckon we should be fine like that. No, yeah, we'll go like that. Grab it in there. And we just pull that out. Because they've already been cut with the grinder, 
These are so simple. I like doing these ones. More so than what I like doing the rack of lamb ones. It just pulls out handfuls. See, when it's like that now, uh, well, my screwdriver is pretty much knackered. Now you'll have to dig every bit of that out. Curse and swear all you want under your breath. <laughs> Not at me, I didn't do it. Right, that's that. I've got another. Yeah, I know. It's all good. Sidecars, we'll grab that one there. This one here, cut him off. Pull that strand out, grab that strand. Never leave those strands behind. There's another one there. Cut that one off. It's good to come out. That can come out of there. All right, we should be able to pull that out now. They're a bit more tedious than um, the others. Well, I think so. But once you start pulling that, it's pretty good. Because you can just start plucking it out with your fingers. That's not stuck in there real well. Now we'll go the, go the grabber. Go the grabber. Get more in one whack. What I made it for. Here we go. That's those. That down there. This one should be quick, pretty easy. Get it nice and square. Just about filled our tub. I can't put it in around the motor because, you know piece goes in the motor, we're buggered. Well, I'm truly buggered. Bit of metal there, put that over there. wonder if I can just grab that. Now that it's held there, give it a yank. Give it a yanky dank. There we go. That into that. So I say I love doing these because I get doing so quick. How'd you go? Still going? Alright, well, I'll give you a hand in a minute. I'll do these two and I'll give you a hand. In a minute, one to go. Then I've got a bad boy to do. Big bad boy to do. You're yeah, alright, well, let me finish this one. Where's the grabber? One with the suction caps. Well, the one with the suction caps. Yeah, I don't know where it went. Oh, it was around here somewhere. Oh, where have we got to chop off here? Those four there.
That one. That one. That one. There's more than four here. Hey, mother. You got it? Ben, you'll get it right in a minute. Ben over. Right, less that. That's how much we've got out of, well, technically all of what was in there. We've still got a lot of copper down here to do. Um, we'll have to do those with the grinder because they didn't want to go through there. They're a bit mangled up and God knows what. Uh, I've got another one here I can pull apart, I think. Oh no, that's a grinder job. Yeah, that's a grinder job. That's why that's in there. So, um, anyway, we'll see what June's up to over here. I guess you should put all that Yeah, alright, well, I'll put that in there. I've so, you it, got it out? I've got it out. I've right. been over that way. Yeah, fair enough. You gonna give me a hand? No. Nah. Don't nah. think you need to. You got one on the ground. You got one on the ground. The one's up on the ground. Alright, yeah, fair enough. But anyway, looks like this washing machine seems to be going alright. Um, that's why I mainly brought you along today to see how this one would go. Part three of this one, I thought oh, I'll fill in a bit of time and pull some copper out of some of those motors. But anyway, um, if you have come this far in the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Still got a couple here to pull apart in the dishwasher. Um, June's been doing a lot of brass over here, brass taps out of gas bottles and that sort of thing. She's mosing along pretty well here. So, very heavy brass when it gets into that. She's into doing the grinding and all that sort of thing, so yeah. Definitely a hard worker. Yeah, but I've got to wear my sunnies. Yeah, she's, well, she's actually got a letter coming in the mail. Haven't you? Yep. Yeah, tell them about it or are you going to worry about it later? No, I can't. She, she's got another appointment for her other eye for a cataract. Left eye, cataract. Her, yeah, so she's going to get the other one done. Next month, the 24th. Yeah, so um, so we've we'll, got a. Won't have these. She won't have spectacles anymore, but she'll have to wear sunglasses. But these are the sunglasses she's been wearing, the good old clipper on us. Yeah. She said they're getting a bit howdy do, and God knows what. So she's only got to wear sunglasses. So anyway. Reading glasses. Oh well, yeah, and she's got to get reading glasses. So anyway, um, that's what we've been up to here. That's all brass. That can go straight into there. That's already done. Look at that. That's a heavy piece of brass, that. <laughs> but yeah, if I haven't said it already, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll definitely see you in the next one. Cheerio. Bye.